A lifetime of dreams lost in an instant. Nagam Abu Samra, a university student and a Gaza karate champion. On Christmas Eve, an Israeli airstrike in Al Maghazi camp killed her younger sister. And Nagam, seriously injured, lost a leg. She is bleeding and has trouble with her lungs. She also has fractures in her left and right hand. Her right leg is cut off. I plead to humanity to evacuate this sports champion from Gaza to any country where there are good medical services to bring Nagam back. Tragedy and torment. Every Gazan family has a story to tell. Nagam was her father's pride. Her mother didn't live to see the war. She died of cancer four months ago. How much more can people take of this? Dozens killed today, including people sheltering in a hospital near Han Yunus. We're about to walk into Gaza. You can see the wall that surrounds the Gaza Strip. And on this side, that is the Erez border crossing terminal. We're with the Israeli Defence Forces. It's the only way media can enter. Israel has blocked all foreign press from reporting on the war from inside Gaza. On display, a Hamas tunnel to keep its fighters, weapons and Israeli hostages out of sight. What's so extraordinary about this tunnel is simply the size of it and how sophisticated it is. You can see pipes are running all the way through it. That was apparently for air, electricity cables, and even a railway track ran for a couple of miles into the centre of Gaza City. When it comes to tunnels, even the Israeli military was impressed. No question. Hamas are fantastic at creating terror tunnels. They are brilliant builders. You're looking at an iron-girded tunnel reinforced with electricity, you have cables for communication equipment. Will Israel level Gaza to the ground if that's what it takes to destroy the tunnels? The challenge is Hamas put so much of that terror infrastructure under so much, so many homes and institutions. That's why we're seeing so much destruction. We're going to do what we have to do in order so that the Israeli people can go to bed at night. In Gaza, two million people no longer have a bed and no one is sleeping, worn out by a long, brutal war.